Welcome to the first video of the 2024 season. I am delighted to be here. As you may know, day before yesterday, Intuit released the new versions of their training and certification test. Um, it was a little bit of a surprise because they always cut it off um, on October 31st. And this year they did not announce the cutoff. And so we just kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And, um, and they said, oh, we'll let you know, we'll let you know, we'll let you know. We had one student who was in the middle of her test and talked to support, uh, not our support, to Intuit support. And they assured her that, that they, she would have notice before she, um, uh, before they, you know, took away her test and they, they took it away. They took it away on October 31st. She lost everything. She had done like five out of six sections of payroll, I think. And uh, so she was pretty ticked off and uh, I would be too. So anyway, so it was a surprise because they did not, um, they did not tell us about the deadline. And so we were just going on the assumption, we here at Fast and Easy QBO, we're going on the assumption that it was going to be uh, gone on October 31st. So it was, and then usually it takes a while before they release the new one. So there's a bit of a gap. And um, I think one year, it was like November 12th before we got the new one. We just kept saying, where is it, where is it, where is it? And, uh, but this year, sure enough, they released it on November 1st. So boom, there it is. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, so I am deep down, those of you know, so if you are new and watching this on YouTube, then uh, we here at Fast and Easy QBO shut down for the month of November. And, um, and I furiously study, I joke on in the group that I am in my cave eating pizza and Chinese food. I usually don't get out of my pajamas and I'm just totally focused on studying the new material and rebuilding all of our Fast and Easy QBO courses to match. But I want, and so that's what I'm in the middle of doing, and it uh, it surprised me that I had to start day before yesterday. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, so now that I have had a chance to uh, take a, a my first kind of look at everything, I just wanted to stop in and tell you what I've noticed that is new this year in the whole training program and the um, and the basic certification test. I will do another video like this for payroll. Once I've had a chance, I will give you fair warning that the payroll is totally different this year, totally different, which is also a shock because they told us that payroll was not changing. And so sure enough, they completely changed it. So the, our payroll course is gonna take, is gonna require a complete rework. Um, the advanced, I will also do another video, these first look videos, um, I'll do another one for advanced, but um, the advanced training in the Intuit, um, uh, in the Intuit training is broken. So I spent two hours on with chat support yesterday at Intuit um, to, to work with them on the fact <laughs> that this training, their training is broken which they were able to duplicate on their own. They're like, oh yes, we do see that it's broken. And I really wanted to just hang up and say, okay, great, go fix it. But no, they insisted on dialing into my computer and seeing it break on my computer. And, uh, and it was very frustrating. So it was, yeah. Anyway, so, so we'll do it once that's broken. I mean, once that is fixed, I will do a first look video on advanced and um, I will do a first look video on payroll, so watch for those coming soon. If you are inside our Facebook, uh, Facebook group, the QBO Gym Locker Room, you get to watch these live. Um, so if you're watching the recording, click the link below so that you can talk to me, interact, ask questions, etc. Speaking of which, I'm looking at the um, at our chat, LaVon says, I love jammy days. You know, jammy days are good, but 
the month of November is really, really stressful. <laughs> it's really, really stressful for me. So I would prefer not to, I, I would accept the jammies, but I would prefer not to have the stress that goes with it, <laughs> that goes with it. So anyway, let's talk about uh, the new training and, um, and certification. The good news is, the good news is that the training platform um, has not changed, okay? So you're still gonna access the training and the certification in the same place that you did before. Now, when I recorded this video last year, oh no, it wasn't this video, it was one of my other early in the season videos, they completely changed it two weeks later. But I anticipate that all of the changes have been incorporated and the whole reason that they changed it last year was so that they could easily roll out new training and certification in future years. So I think this was their first year to try the new platform with you know, reloading everything. And with the exception of that one glitch in advanced, it, it went really smoothly and it went really fast. So I anticipate that they're gonna keep it that they like it and um, that so that's going to be the same okay so um, that is so how you access the test you go to pro advisor training you got your training library I have a YouTube video out there maybe I'll do another one for this season it hasn't changed but maybe I'll do another one for this season about like where to locate the training where to access the test um, as far as the, uh, the content of the training material and the test, um, there's not a whole lot of changes. I really expected that there would be more content changes. I, ex I think that the reason that there aren't a whole lot of changes is because the majority of the development and new stuff that they're doing is in QBO advanced certification level. Don't get confused between the advanced, uh, the advanced uh, certification and the advanced subscription, which I said certification just now, but what I meant was advanced subscription level. Like that's where they, that's where they're putting all of their development time and effort is that QBO advanced subscription level. So in that there's like a ton of new things and that's all covered in the advanced certification. So, um, so that's I think that's one reason why there aren't a whole lot of differences. Um, the really big highlight thing that I noticed um, is, and again, I haven't done a deep dive. Like this is just my first, like at a glance, looking at everything. Um, but the real big thing is um, is all of the payment stuff. Okay, so um, understanding QBO payments, which is how you receive money, so you can set up for their merchant account. Understanding, so you you and your clients can sign up for QBO payments, which makes collecting money on invoices and even processing um, credit cards and ACH transactions right on a sales receipt makes that super easy. Plus the payment links feature, which they rolled out uh, sometime last year, I think, uh, which is being able to like show a QR code to somebody uh, for your ser for your service and then they can just pay it that way. So, um, so QBO payments, which is like they're receiving the money. And then they just announced that, um, that they are doing away with Melio. So if you've been around for a while, you know that um, sending money out, so QuickBooks Payments has just been taking money in, but to send money out, they incorporated a third-party software called Melio, and that was one of the things we had to learn on the certification test. Well, strangely enough, uh, well, let me say before that, is that they are transition. they have announced that they are transitioning this year, and there's not much time in the year left, but they're transitioning everybody that has QBO pay or has QuickBooks payments to sending money out using QuickBooks payments. Okay, so sending money out with QuickBooks payments is new. They're incorporating it. Guess what? It's gonna cost money, which is a bummer because Melio is free. <laughs> 
Um, but the the QuickBooks payments, it, you get five free transactions, which for some people that's plenty. Um, I think I send out regularly six, so, so I'm just over the thing, so that's kind of annoying. Um, but anyway, so they are getting rid of Melio. They are incorporating uh, QuickBooks payments for payments out. Um, but strangely enough, the test itself and the training is all still referencing Melio. But there is also stuff about QuickBooks payments. I think, I can't remember, it's both, I think. But the, anyway, that's the real big thing that I noticed was that there was just a lot of content about payments. So payments out, payments received. That's like, as far as content goes, that's the biggest thing that I noticed, which is kind of a bummer because there, I can't act, I, there's limited how I can show you in a training. Um, so anyway, that's, that's the big thing. Also, I noticed that they have redone all of their videos inside. Now, I haven't watched any of the videos, but the, um, the, like, the thumbnail on all of the videos inside the training is different. It's new. So either they change, I don't know, what, maybe they just changed the thumbnail because I haven't watched them yet. Uh, but they really do need to change those videos because, you know, this year the left navigation bar changed. And so hopefully they're going to redo everything. I mean, we're redoing all of our stuff, so, so hopefully. Um, so all of the videos um, are changed. In general, the whole portal, um, I feel like somebody who was a good professional organizer, like, cleaned it up. So it, in some ways, it's really, it used to be that they would have these knowledge checks in the middle of the training. And for the most part, there's still like one or two knowledge checks in the middle of training if it's like a really long training. But for the most part, they moved the all the knowledge checks to the end of the training, which is good. Um, and, uh, and they just like, they put certain things in like certain sections, they put it in a more logical place. So I feel like somebody, so I was really, really happy to see that. I was really happy to see that somebody had gone in and like kind of cleaned it up and kind of organized the training better and moved those knowledge checks and the videos are, are, are new. And, um, and so that was all good. Like that made my heart really happy until, until I went and actually looked at the test. And guys, I, <laughs> I don't know how anyone can take this dang test without fast and easy QBO because the, con the content on the test is so jumbled. It's how, how, do they, <laughs> how do they expect you to take this test? How do they expect you to, you know, if you learn about a thing, even find it in the training? It's an open book test. If you're not in our community, you're watching this on YouTube, you might not know that. It's an open book test. You're welcome to use the materials. They encourage you to have the training open, but there's no search feature in their training. So you can't go back and like look for a particular topic. You just have to remember uh, where it is. And what I tell people who don't purchase our course, I tell them to like create an outline, create an outline for where everything is in their training. <laughs> and I will tell you that uh, we spent an entire day, uh, four of us, four of us spent an entire day building our own Fast and Easy QBO internal outline so that we know where all of the training is in, uh, in the Intuit training. And that we didn't even do payroll. We just did the QuickBooks, <laughs> QuickBooks Online basic and advanced. That's how we found the, the issue. So um, <laughs> so I, I don't know, I don't know how you can take the test. I don't know how you can get certified uh, taking the certification test on your own. I mean, it just it's just gonna be it. It's just going to be so much work. I mean, how do you even know what sections? You don't even know what sections the questions are because it's so jumbled. Like it's not the the test questions 
are not in the order of the Intuit training. And they're not even like, it's not even close. It's not, I will tell you that section one is the first part of the training. Section five is the last part of the training some, somewhat. Sections two, three, and four, and half of section five, all over the place, <laughs> all over the place. So I don't know. I just, I use our courses, use our courses because it's just going to make your life. It's a, I'm working really, really hard to make your life easier. So anyway, that's it. That's all of the main things. Let me just check. I don't see uh, anything is. <laughs> Joel says the funny thing is Margie has to use Intuit's training to pass the test. That's why she's so frustrated. <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly. <laughs> Elma says this is why she did not wait. So, yeah, so she took the course last year and passed. Okay, any other questions? Uh, everyone says, okay. All right, I think that's it. And um, I will see you next time. If you're inside the group, I will do a Mindset Monday um, on Monday. And um, I will hop on next Friday and we'll have an update and see. Also, if you're inside the group and you are inside our, our QBO Gym Locker Room Facebook group, then we're gonna keep posting updates as I am working through the course. You'll get the outline. You'll see exactly like where I am. Um, you know, all of that good stuff. So I want to keep you in the loop. I'm in a cave eating pizza and Chinese food and not getting out of my pajamas, but I still want to keep you guys in the loop. Okay. So that's it. Have a happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Heading back into the cave. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.